Hello, hello, NCLEX Crusaders. Welcome to our channel, NCLEX Crusade International. And we're here doing another YouTube Live, short YouTube Live, answering uh, to one of the questions our NCLEX Crusader asked the past week. The question was, what are the resources that I should use to prepare accordingly to pass the NCLEX? And mainly, I'm going to talk about two resources. Resource number one, which biography, which book, which bibliography you can use to prepare for the NCLEX. And two, what QBank, what question bank you can use to practice questions every day. So let's talk about the first one. The best book. I have discovered so far that can really help you learn content and really understand nursing interventions that you need to know to answer the questions on the NCLEX correctly is the Saunders book. Pearson's book is pretty good as well, but me personally, I believe the Saunders book is a a, a bigger resource. I love the way the Sanders explain things in detail. For example, you're gonna see a lot of times that the Sanders starts with telling you about what is the assessment that you can see on XYZ medical condition. Then it talks about nursing implementations that are required or useful in those conditions. And it goes like that throughout the whole uh, Saunders book. I call the Saunders book the, the Bible of the, uh, for the nurses because it is really, really detailed. Now, I know that most of you know that the Saunders is a good resource to study content for the NCLEX. But the question that I get all the time is, how do I use the Sanders? What is the best way to use the Sanders book? And this it depends. For example, I don't know if there are any nurses here watching this uh, YouTube live that can identify with this. I hate reading. There is no way in the world that I will be studying a 2,000, 3,000 uh, pages in this specific book. Like I know that many of you don't like reading and you don't see yourself reading that many pages. I don't know if you can relate to this, that you start reading one page, two pages, three pages, and then you go, what did I just read? And you literally forget everything you've read the first two pages. So you feel that for you reading the Sanders book is a waste of time. Let me tell you that it's never a waste of time because you will be able to capture and retain some information. However, for those nurses that identify with what I'm saying, maybe the way I use the Sounders is better for you. How did I use it? Okay? And I used, when I was preparing for the NCLEX, I used a lot of the Pearson's book because it was the one that was a little bit more famous at that time. But it applies to the Sounders book as well. The way I used to, to, to use the, the book was basically, I would start doing questions every day. And anytime I found a subject or a topic that I felt weak on, that I said, I don't know anything about this uh, pathophysiology. I don't know anything about this illness. I will go to the, in that time, the Pearson's book, what I suggest now, the Saunders book. I, I used to go back to the book and start reviewing content about that specific pathophysiology or illness that I wasn't too sure or I didn't understand, or maybe I didn't see it before. So what I did was, instead of reading page by page, 
and reading the whole Sanders book. Basically, I review different topics as I practice questions daily. Now, that worked for me. I'm not saying that reading the whole Sanders book is bad. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm trying to give some help to those students out there, to those nurses that say, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to read the whole book. So maybe that is beneficial to you. Another question that I get often is, Professor, should I practice with the questions inside the Sanders book? And the answer is, yes, it is beneficial to practice the questions inside the Sanders book. However, you need to practice questions using a Q bank, a question bank. The questions on the Sanders book tend to be a little bit, I think, too basic for my taste. You need to practice higher thinking questions. You need to practice prioritization and critical thinking questions. In Saunders' book, the questions that you will see there is not really uh, the book that is going to give you that opportunity. With that comes the second question that I always get and I wanted to talk to you about. Which QBank should I use? Now, there are many QBanks that exist right now and very good ones. However, I am going to recommend two QBanks primarily. Number one, in my opinion, what I think is the best is Kaplan, the Kaplan QBank. And number two, the UWorld QBank. Professor, why do you prefer the Kaplan QBank? Why is, is that the best QBank for you? The reason I think the Kaplan QBank is the best because the questions that you will encounter are higher difficulty style of questions. And the most important thing is that you will really have the opportunity to practice higher thinking questions. You will have the opportunity to practice strategies, critical thinking strategies. However, the Kaplan I think is more of an advanced QBank. So if you are at the beginning of your studying, maybe you just finished nursing school, you don't feel you, you are too strong on critical thinking and content, then probably Kaplan will not be your first option or should not be your first option. And you can go to the second best option, which is your, in my opinion. I'm not talking about anything bad about you or, or any other resources out there. Like I said, there are many great ones, but I'm giving you my personal opinion, or if it's my opinion, it's personal, about what I think. I have been teaching and helping nurses around the world prepare for the NCLEX for five years, and I have have developed some experience in this, and trust me on what I'm telling you, that it's gonna be beneficial for you. Why UWorld is another option, or why do I think you should uh, use the UWorld? The UWorld is very strong in content. So if you are a nurse that you see, you feel that you are weak in content, the best cue bank for that is UWorld, not Kaplan. UWorld has great graphics, photos, their rationals are amazing, and you can really develop a strong foundation on content. You will be able to practice some prioritization questions as well, but not as much as you will have the opportunity to practice with the Kaplan QBank. So to resume, when should I use Kaplan as my resource, and when should I use your as my practicing questions resource. If you are weak in content, start with you world. And as you progress and become better with content, then you can progress to Kaplan. So you can practice higher thinking quality questions before taking your NCLEX. However, if you feel that 
content is not really your weakness and you need to practice more critical thinking and prioritization strategies than use Kaplan as your first resource. And to conclude, I want to talk to you about another question that I get pretty often and is how many questions should I practice daily? This will vary depending if you are a, a part-time student or if you are a full-time student. If you are a full-time student, you definitely need to be practicing anywhere between 75 to 100, 150 questions daily. Good quality questions. If you are studying part-time, then maybe you will not be able to practice so many questions. You might be able to do maybe 25 to 50 questions daily. But it does not matter on what situation you are. If you're studying part-time, if you're studying full-time, you need to be practicing, practicing questions all the time. I see on the comment section, Professor, these resources are uh, very expensive. And it's true for many of you that maybe you are outside the United States, outside of Canada, in other countries that you know, having $150, $200 is basically not there. Then you can do a third option, which will be um, the Archer QBank. I have used the Archer QBank myself. I have used it with my students. It is very economical option. It's very inexpensive. However, understand that with that QBank, you will not have the opportunity to practice a lot of prioritization questions. As a matter of fact, I believe they have about 400 to 500 prioritization questions only in that QBank. Kaplan has much more, but it is an option to do, okay? Remember that uh, preparing for the NCLEX is, is an investment in your knowledge. And I understand that sometimes you want, but you can't, and you have to do the best you can. But I am offering uh, you, my viewers, my subscribers, uh, answers to some questions that I know that you have in your mind, and I want to provide uh, some kind of answer. But bottom line, you need to practice questions daily. I see NCLEX preparation like riding a bicycle. And I've talked about this uh, several times. You can review and read the best manual that talks about how to ride a bicycle. You can see the best video tutorials on how to ride a bicycle. But that does not mean that when you jump on the bicycle, you're going to be good at it. It doesn't matter what are you reading. It doesn't matter what videos you're watching. You need to jump on the bicycle and start pedaling. You need to get on the bicycle and fall and get up again. You need to practice questions. That is the bicycle. The cue banks is like riding a bicycle. The more you do it, the more you practice, the better you get at it. The more your critical thinking will be developed. And soon you're going to start seeing things that you didn't see before. Make sure you're watching all of our videos in our YouTube channel. If you are uh, English speaking, watch the NCLEX Crusade International channel. But if you are Spanish speaking and you struggle understanding English, go to our other channel, which is only NCLEX Crusade without the international. That's for Spanish speaking Latino nurses. I hope that this video is beneficial. If you're liking these kind of videos, Make sure you, you like the video, share with other students, and on the comment section, comment some questions that you would like me to answer. I will do the best I can to come here uh, on YouTube and do a quick live like this, very informal, but very beneficial, I believe, answering those questions that, that you could have. So make sure you're putting on the comment section what kind of question you would like me to answer next and I will start collecting some of those answers and providing information about NCLEX preparation, NCLEX tips, what questions do you have 
about the prioritization strategies that I teach. You know, if you're watching our videos, you've watched the assessment versus implementation strategy. What question do you have about that? If you've watched the Maslow's hierarchy of strategy, what question do you have about that strategy? And I'll do the best I can to provide quality and valuable information to you. I wish you all the best. God bless you all. Don't lose faith. Keep trying. It doesn't matter if you failed many times before. Get up. Continue. Continue running the good run and you will find that you will be a registered nurse in the United States. God bless you all. Bye-bye.